is my 28 week update. I'm 28 weeks and four days today. Yep, yeah, I did that on Thursday. So I eventually managed to get through to physio. It took me ages. I kept on ringing them and it was a bit of a back and forth like sort of thing of leaving messages. Um, but I eventually got through to them and I managed to book for the end of this month. They were pretty booked up so and I'm the woman I'm going to see is a specialist in physio for pregnant women in the pelvic girdle pain sort of thing. So hopefully she'll be able to help me at least in understanding how I can ease it a little bit more. Um, like I said before, I know it's not going to exactly get any better exactly, um, but yeah. So at least I have a date for that now, so that's good. Then I had a my bloods taken, which I think I said in the last update, yep. Yeah. And um, they came back low, and funnily enough though, I thought they would have just gone and prescribed me something, but they didn't. They just said, when you next see your midwife, let her know and she'll probably put you on iron pills. It was a bit of a pain, so anyway, I had my um, midwife appointment yesterday and I told her and she was a bit like annoyed that they hadn't just gone and given me them because like they should have really. Um, but yeah, so she's booked me in to have my, like put a prescription through, I've got to try and pick them up today. Um, so yeah, I'm getting some iron because um, my supply and my actual iron intake or something was low, like two different, they like measured a few different things but anyway. The rest of the midwife appointment went fairly well. Um, she measured my belly and I'm measuring 27 weeks. I'm a little bit behind, but only by like a centimetre, so that's not too much of an issue. Um, she didn't seem bothered by it at all. Um, took baby's heartbeat, which was fine. What else did we do? Did my blood pressure was fine. Urine sample fine. <laughs> Pretty much most of it, the rest of it was all right sort of thing. Um, she was actually a different midwife than my usual midwife. So, um, yeah, I sort of explained a little bit more of obviously what's been going on and stuff. She was really nice, really chatty, um, and you know, I feel like she could sympathise a little bit more. Like she sort of said that she'd had experience with um, the pelvic girdle pain and stuff like that. So she was saying, you know, like just you know, like doing certain things and stuff like that. So it was nice to have someone that I felt like sort of sympathised with it um, a little bit. She felt baby this time, um, this time as well, and. Um, he was his head down quite low. I feel like he's dropped recently, which I'd said to her when we went in there Like he feels like he's suddenly gone down a bit more um, Obviously he can move around and come back up and whatever between now and the end <laughs> um, But yeah at the moment his head's down and he's mainly on my right side like his bum and his legs are all sort of curled round on my right side and then his head's right down there um, and I could definitely tell, I, but the, the thing is, I don't know if it's him moving quite down low, I've still been feeling quite a lot of pressure and movement low down as well. So either, I don't know, his legs are up there as well, or it's just his arms, I don't know, or whether he moves, <laughs> he could flip for all I don't know. But yeah, he's definitely crazy with movements. Um, we also finally booked our scan, which is this Saturday, I'm so excited. Also really kind of nervous, like I think it's just because obviously I haven't seen him in a long time. It's very new for us to like, we've never gone to a 3D, 4D scan thing before. Um, so it's, yeah, it's all very exciting and I can't wait to see him and hopefully he's still a he. <laughs> We're definitely going to be checking that because that's sort of like one of the things that I've, I've had dreamt about him, him coming out a girl and being like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Um, <laughs> but it's one of those things, you know, you can't always, you know... <laughs> medical things can only go so far basically so yeah i bought a fair few things this this last two weeks but i think i'm gonna do a little haul video for that because it's a fair bit and i think it would just make this video incredibly long um but yeah just as a quick sort of overview we bought a changing bag a nursing cover um some clothes for him um we've done you know a fair bit this last week and definitely got more of an idea of the things that we need need that we've got left um which isn't a great deal really i mean we you know we're not in a don't feel as pressured as i did like a couple of weeks ago to get as much i feel like we're doing all right sort of thing um so yeah that's <laughs> that's that so my weight oh my goodness have i gained weight in the last couple of weeks i seem to have gained well four pounds in the last two weeks um i'm eight six now but um, originally, like last week, I weighed myself and I was 8'4", and I obviously gained two pounds, and I was like, okay, I've gained two pounds. And then I 
this this week, at the beginning of this week, I weighed myself and I was still 84 and I thought, oh, maybe I'm just not going to gain this week because I gained £2 last week. And then literally, I haven't weighed myself since then, I weighed myself today and I was 86 and I was like, what? Because <laughs> I don't really, I don't know, I, I have felt a little bit heavier. My belly doesn't feel that much bigger, really, so I think he's definitely gaining weight. Um, I mean, it could be me as well, I could have been putting it on elsewhere for all I know. Um, but yeah, like, I definitely feel like, I'm hoping that it's him <laughs> gaining weight um, and getting bigger himself. And I do feel like, with him dropping and being, I just feel like he's heavier, like, the pressure and weight of him is so much more especially like when I have like a bath and then I get out of the water I can really feel the weight of him like drop down onto my like pelvis and stuff it's really a strange feeling even though I've obviously been through it before but that was while ago <laughs> so yeah that's 17 pounds since the beginning of my pregnancy so I'm definitely gaining weight properly <laughs> um and getting there now um I'm definitely not worried about it anymore <laughs> That's for sure. Moving on to symptoms. Obviously my pelvic girdle pain and whatever you want to call it, this symphysis pubic dysfunction um, is still bad. It's still hurting, still trying to maintain it as much. Like there's days where it's like really bad. Obviously if I've done more, um, the days I typically take Isla to nursery tends to be the days that it'll hurt more in the evening because obviously I've walked back and forth to a nursery and then I tend to get on and do housework as well while she's not here. So it's a bit much, I'm guessing. So yeah, it's been a bit meh with that, but like I said, it's not really gonna change much and I'm not really gonna know much more until my um, appointment with physio anyway. So I've had a few more headaches this week. Um, my boobs have started hurting again been a bit itchy, my belly's still been itchy, that hasn't really changed, but my boobs have definitely gone a bit more ouchy and a bit more sensitive than they have for quite a while actually. Um, yeah, still been thirsty and still definitely been so tired, so exhausted, like I'm still getting quite really a good night's sleep most of the time I think. Um, I mean, I say good night's sleep, I mean like I'm getting enough hours. Um, maybe not sleeping well, I'm still getting bad dreams, I'm still getting like, you know, feel like I'm lightly sleeping, still have to get up and pee quite a lot during the night, um, which obviously doesn't help, but then I still feel like I need a nap when Isla goes down for a nap, and I'm like, oh, it's, you know, the days that she, because there's days that she doesn't always have a nap, and she does push it a bit more, um, you know, are the days I really struggle, because I'm like, I need to go to sleep, I really, really want to sleep for myself, um, but yeah, it's just, I can't believe how tired I've been with this pregnancy entirely, like, so much more than Isla. Cravings, um, I don't really know, I think my cravings for this week really have been fruit, um, I've really been loving smoothies, I think it's partly because it's been really hot here again for this last week, and I think having stuff that's nice and cold and cool, um, and we haven't had as many, like, we, you know, haven't got any ice pops and stuff in, so I'm kind of using the smoothies as a sort of thing for that instead um, and I've been liking a glass of milk more often recently that might have um, added to my weight gain um, but yeah I've been having like milk and biscuits with Isla when she's been having them for snack time sometimes so mm, probably not so great but hey I'm sure baby can benefit for it, from it anyway because he's growing his little bones and strengthening them so <laughs> anything for him so yeah I think that's everything really like I said I'll try and do a little mini haul thing so I can show you guys what we've bought sort of thing but yeah I think that's everything I'll try and update you more next week if there is anything more to update on so thanks for watching bye